conics in architecture. Different kinds of conic sections present themselves in all kinds of architecture. In this video, we will go into depth about parabolas, hyperbolas, ellipses, and circles, and how they relate to architecture. Parabolas are an example of a conic that is often used in architecture. They are used because of their visual appeal, their economic advantages, and because they are very strong. Many bridges have suspensions in the shape of parabolas, like the Golden Gate Bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge, and many other bridges. Architects use this shape not only for its visual appeal, but the tension in the cables um, takes most of the weight that the, the bridge is carrying, and um, it's, they're easy to, to construct, so they make sense economically. Um, another example of parabolas in architecture is the, in the Eiffel Tower. Uh, the architect used this because of the tremendous weight that the, the um, structure has to carry and also uh, for the visual appeal of being able to walk underneath and yeah and also in architecture for their visual appeal like the the gateway arch in st louis and also in roller coasters some buildings and structures are built in a hyperbolic shape for a number of different reasons cooling towers are structures which cool water to low temperatures and dismiss waste heat to the atmosphere. Their structure is a hyperboloid, which is better for the environment because the hyperbolic shape allows for less material use. The shape also allows convective airflow to move more quickly, which helps cooling be more productive. While cooling towers are an example of a hyperbolic structure in which the system benefits from the shape, some hyperbolas in architecture are solely there because they are pleasing to the eye. For example, the James S. McDonald Planetarium in St. Louis is hyperbolic, but there is no real significance as to why. The Gettysburg National Tower is another example of a building with a hyperboloid design, which was an observation tower in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, but was demolished in the year 2000. Examples of ellipses in architecture, but one of the most interesting and unique examples would have to be whispering galleries. You might have heard of a few well-known whispering galleries like St. Paul's Cathedral or even the Maparium right here in Boston. What makes whispering galleries so interesting is the fact that they have cool acoustic features that have to do with the shape and properties of an ellipse. Here's how a whispering gallery works. One person stands at the focus of one ellipse and whispers, and the sound waves that come from the whisper travel to the curved side of the room and rebound off the wall or ceiling, traveling towards the other focus, making it so that two people can hear each other whispering even when they're standing far apart. In an ellipse, the sum of, the fo the sum of differences from a point to each focus is constant. This property of an ellipse is the reason behind why whispering galleries work the way that they do, because when you whisper, the sound can bounce off any point in the room and still return to the other focus for the other person to hear, all because of the ellipse property that says the sum of the distances from a point to two foci is always constant. There are many examples of circles in architectural structures around the world, ranging from domes, ferris wheels, and giant geospheres. The equation of a circle is as follows. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared with the center h comma k. Probably the most famous example of a circle is the London Eye, a perfectly circular ferris wheel that rotates in order for the rider to see a complete view of London. The radius is 60 meters, meaning that the height um, is approximately 120 meters tall, and the rotating circle allows for multiple viewpoints and structural soundness. Circular planning and structures of houses allow for new levels of efficiency and strength. With a circular house, wind and tsunami waves move around the building with ease, meaning that houses can't rip off at the corners. Also, the rounded curves prevent a situation called airplaning, where strong winds can detach a roof from its building. Another advantage of these circular houses is the energy efficiency. Because these circular houses have less exterior area, the price of heating and cooling a house ends up being lowered. And because winds can easily move around the circular house, there won't be any drafts or any cold air creeping into the house.